Today on this 1994 GMC full-size van, we're going to be installing draw tight hitch part number 75121. Before we get started installing our trailer hitch, we're going to go ahead and give you a couple of final install dimensions that will help make choosing your hitch accessories a little bit easier. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is going to measure 12 and a half inches and from the center of the pinhole to clear the rear edge of the bumper is going to be approximately two and a half inches. We're going to start off underneath the vehicle here with our installation and uh, we're actually looking at the driver's side frame rail. We're going to go ahead and point out the mounting location for the trailer hitch. Attached to the bottom of the frame as well as the bumper is the bumper bracket and there's a, a bolt holding it into the bumper and two into the frame. We are actually going to be removing the bumper bracket from not only the driver's side but from the passenger side as well and the hitch will actually be replacing it. Once we do remove the bumper bracket, we will actually be reusing the existing hardware on the vehicle. And if you continue forward on the frame, just forward of the angle support, there is an existing hole here, and that's gonna provide our forward most attaching point for the frame. Into that existing hole, we're actually gonna be fishing the carriage bolt and block assembly that's provided with the installation kit. And we're actually gonna go ahead and do that first. We're gonna go ahead and take the provided bolt leader, and we wanna take the threaded end here, insert it from the bottom of the frame through the existing hole and back out this large hole in the frame. And we'll next take our block and go ahead and slide it onto the bolt leader. And then we'll take the carriage bolt and we'll wrap the threads of the bolt leader around the threads of the carriage bolt. So from there, we just wanna take the other end of the bolt leader and go ahead and pull the block and carriage bolt down into place. All right, and then we'll just go ahead now and move on to removing the bumper bracket. Depending on the age of your vehicle, the bolts that are attached to the bumper bracket to the bumper could have a considerable amount of rust or road grime built up on the nut. So it's a good idea to, to thoroughly soak and clean those with a spray lubricant like a WD-40 before attempting to remove the nut. With the passenger side completed, we can go ahead next and put the hitch up in position. Into the bottom of the carriage bolt, we're gonna add the conical tooth washer, along with the lock washer and hex nut. From there, we'll just continue rearward, where we're gonna, again, be reusing the same bolts that we had taken out of the frame earlier. Next, at the attaching point to the bumper with the installation kit is, includes an, an extra flat washer. And we're gonna put this on as well as a new nut, which is a locking nut. Now that we've got all the hardware up into place and tightened down, we're gonna go back through now and torque each one of the bolts down. You wanna verify with the directions the specific torque rating for each of the bolts. And then with our bolts torqued down, our installation will be complete. This will conclude the installation of draw tight hitch part number 75121 on a 1994 GMC full-size van.